Good day everyone and welcome back to Dingoes and Dice. And I am joined by my lovely companions here. Aloha. Hello. Greetings. <laughs> Greetings. <laughs> oh, <you're okay. laughs> oh, I didn't fix the chat, I just realized that. Um so yes, we are back. Technical difficulties right after that again, Larissa. No, well, not exactly. It's alright, I'm realizing there's a pattern. No. This, hey, I'm just glad it's not my fault this time. <laughs> I mean, it's not a nerds I want stream without a technical difficulty. I mean, seriously. I'm beginning it's not to realize that. Prepared. Jeez. There's an echo on my voice. Oh. It's my it's voice, not your voice. So it's your mic that's picking me up. Chris is glaring at me. Yeah, sorry. Larissa enjoys shouting at the top of the streaming. Sorry. I'm sorry. She's not really sorry. <laughs> I think I we have to sorry. go in there and have you cosplayers appear at some point. Definitely I'm sorry. have to. <laughs> but her outfit would be so difficult to make. So I'm just fixing the chat, guys. That's why it's resetting on the stream. Yeah, you realize if you combine Pira and Weiss, it'd be sorry, not sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> no, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> oh, it fit in perfectly with the Milciades twins. Or uh, Malachite twins, rather. Milciades, one oh, of them. Oh, yes. Damn it. Whatever. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. How come Rathina has sunnies? Hmm. That's what? She's wearing Latina. sunglasses. She's wearing sunglasses. So? <laughs> because her eyes glow-ish? This is d, d We didn't have sunglasses back then. What? What is with this canon breaking crap? <laughs> I, I call it quits. We, well, this is true <laughs> that it is D&D, &D, but it is also an open medium and I can do whatever <laughs> I want. <laughs> It's like, like the, the, the third episode, broken. and I've, I've only just realized that. <laughs> uh, there's always a tinted glass in the D and D, so it's not exactly far uh, off. Yeah, and there are glasses and optic lenses. You could have those. Uh huh. <laughs> and there are goggles that let you see in the dark. Oh God. They're a magic item, but they exist. Night vision goggles. I. Essentially. I, I was gonna say I want a pair, but then I realized I don't actually. I'm good. I'm a yeah. rock gnome dwarf. Yep, just no. <laughs> if you want, I can make you a dwarf. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> That's what I thought. I, I had enough trouble trying to get him what was three foot or four foot however tall he is. Exactly. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. I actually thought I might make another one um, cause when we do Call of the Khaleesi. Go have a look at the characters on that because um, actually we haven't even looked into any of that, but I'm so keen to give that a go as well. Thank you for the bits, Beck. You're trying to break the bit. Ah, uh, yeah, you break the alert. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> that's Thank a break you. it online. How'd that work? Uh -huh. That's not a shamrock, though. It's missing a leaf. It's only a three leaf cover. That's unlucky. Oh wait, it's not stuck! Oh. <laughs> it didn't break! <laughs> it didn't break. That's right, I think I increased the time it stays on the stream, that's why I thought it was break for a second. <laughs> just to give everyone that, just to give it that little bit of hope, of like, yeah, no, nah, bugger. <laughs> Alright, so, are we all ready to proceed? Yeah, are you ready? Yeah, let, let's go. Alright, so, would, uh, would someone care to give a brief recap? Aside from Chris? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, sure. So, we, I forgot the name of the village, but we arrived at a village that was on fire. Thank you for the tip, Magic Man. Thank you. So, yes, we arrived at a village that was on fire. And uh, there was kobolds. And I smashed the kobolds to bits. <laughs> and then Chris tried to revive a dead cat. It didn't work. It did no. It just it may have. We don't know. We left before. 
<laughs> and we say the me. answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't revive it. Give up on your dreams. <laughs> it it could have worked. Guys, <laughs> listen to the twelve. Believe in me. <laughs> yes, alright, I'll listen to the twelve year old. Um yeah, so we yeah. saved some villages and then we went on to the next part of the city where we fought some more kobolds and some cultists. Yeah, unfortunately Elena got uh, sorry, Crystal got knocked out. But we were managed to defeat all the cultists and the kobolds and revive Crystal. And then After we got chased. ignored her for a good couple of turns and nearly had to die. Yes, <laughs> and we ended up getting chased into a tower by a massive dragon. Uh, and I, I did an awesome slide, just managed to get underneath it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Echoes galore! Echoes galore! <laughs> Alright, cool. It's, it's, it's a keep, not a tower, but close enough. That too. Um, and, and. Yeah. Yeah. Dragon. Yeah. Massive fire. And I just fixed my mic, so hopefully it doesn't pick her up as much. Let me know if it does, and I can make some more adjustments. Sorry. <laughs> She's not really sorry. <laughs> Alright, shall we get into the swing of it then? I think we shall. It's changing. Over to you, Crimson. And let me know, guys, if, how it all sounds. Audio, music, yeah. everything. And just gear-wise, we're down to one health potion. We use them all, basically. I mean, it'd be good if we didn't waste all our healing, I guess, on dead cats and stuff. Mm. Our. <laughs> <laughs> so then. Yes. Here you are in the keep. Okay. Along with several other, uh, several other villagers. I see a big black square. Oh, there we go. <laughs> And uh, just for the notation purposes, uh, I'll have it known that every square here is ten feet rather than the usual five, because this is a rather large place. Yeah. Okay. My apologies for the gnome who has to deal with half squares. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> okay, good, because I'm not really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, anyways, there are several different groups of commoners here. Some of them uh, have gone further inside. Some being, see some of them huddled around fires. You see, uh, over in this direction, the uh, the family of individuals that came with you, uh, all huddled around, kind of just some of the children crying. One of them asleep. The two parents trying to calm them down and just kind of mulling over all that's happened. Several different families, some crying over the fallen bodies of their family and friends. Some of them rushing around trying to help the injured and calm people down. Others clad in armor, going up and down stairs, uh, going up onto the walls, going down below, into the walls of the keep itself, uh, rushing through chambers, making sure that weapons and armor are, are uh, passed out and equipped to those who are, uh, those who are in need of it taking watches up on the walls as the uh, as the beating of wings that accompanied you swoops overhead and then flies off into the distance as the sun sets down below the horizon and darkness envelops the skies. What do you wish to do? I think we should probably talk to the family first. Mm -hmm. And here. I mean, Jid, so I'm just going to have to hobble on. Well, while uh, he's doing that, I'm going to actually uh, attend to my own wounds, since I did end up with a little bit of uh, harm at the end. Alright. So, it, it'll probably be uh, resting for that. Yeah, so I, you, know, you, you, can, you can take a short rest yeah. here. Okay. <laughs> Make a sleight of hand check. 
Seriously. With disadvantage because the guards are watching you. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna go so badly. I'm staying over here. Oh, that would have been so good otherwise. <laughs> yes, as you begin to try and pry the lid open on this barrel, your your gauntleted hands can't seem to find purchase. They're just a bit too bulky to get into the crack. And then on the top of the wall you hear <coughs> As you look up, you see two guards. One of them is aiming a crossbow at you and going, Something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to see here, I, good sir. I'll be on my way. I, I apologize for my friend. <laughs> you just kind of eye you suspiciously and go back to their post with one of them keeping an eye on him. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's go talk to the family now. Um, I guess we should ask if there's anything further we can do to assist them while they're here. Uh, they tell you that you've uh, you've gotten them to the keep safely, and hopefully they should be safe here for the time being. Uh, uh, Kuth needs time to rest his leg, and the children are a bit shaken by all of this. The luckily her youngest, uh, the girl, has fallen asleep and will hopefully wake up to a much better morning. Um, I tell them that we're pretty short on supplies. Is there anywhere we can go to resupply some of our stuff? Uh, she tells you that uh, the armory might have something they can spare, but they've. But as far as she can remember, Greenus has never had to deal with something of this magnitude, so... It'd be tough to say. Uh, which way would be the armory? She uh, she points you down to the uh, to a hole in the wall, which I just realized this map does not have, so I will draw in freehand. <laughs> okay, we have a. Uh... Well, that didn't work right. <laughs> There we, we have a uh, ports in the uh, ports in the wall here, and the main gates there, and one over here as well. And uh, towards this way would be about where the armory is. Okay. And what's this building over here? Uh, that is. That is uh, that is where most of the uh, medic, most of the uh, the medics are trying to bandage the severely injured. It's just a just an overhang kind of a tent area. Just basically the top is the covering. Yep. It's four poles holding up a thatched roof. Right, well, I'm going to go over to there and ask if they can heal me up. But I'm pretty badly wounded. Alright. They can do something about it. Yeah, they can, uh, they can, they'll, they'll do what they can. They're in the middle of, uh, sawing off someone's leg at the moment. Nice. <laughs> can, can I go help peel the, uh, civilians? <laughs> yes, you can. I'll have you make a medicine check for it. <laughs> and by that, I mean I'll have myself make a medicine check, and I keep forgetting that. <laughs> <laughs> I did change my name, though. Instead of DM, it's now DM and Elena, because I'm technically using her stuff as well. Yep. Yeah. I can assist as well, if you want, while I wait for healing. Alright, that'll give her advantage on it. Yeah, the two of you are able to, uh, to, uh, to help mend uh, some of the wounds and ease the ailments of several of these injured people. The, uh, the medical personnel do thank you for this, and, uh, in return, are able to help heal you up during the next hour in which you are a all capable of taking a short rest. Okay. Uh, okay. Tobias and Rathina, well, they, uh, you two are able to be fully healed. Rathina is able to recover her spell slots. Any abilities you have that recover on short rest are now replenished. 
Oh, okay. He is lay on hands. Uh, are we playing some short or long? Is it? I believe it should have the description on there. If it doesn't, then it's odd. Um, should read it, shouldn't I? Yes, that would be the idea. <laughs> Perhaps I should have joined in on this. Okay, session. long rest, yep. Oh, long rest, is it? Uh, it's a short rest we're doing at the moment, but my lay on heals on a long rest, so I'm still without that. Okay. Stupid cat. <laughs> <laughs> it was your decision to go and try to uh, heal the cat. But how cool would it have been to have a little cat following us? I mean, come on. Jeez, I couldn't use that in combat. Dead cat. <gasps> I could have taken the dead cat and used that. No. Oh. No. Can we go back? No. <laughs> Is it too late for you to join on this short the rest? the death more than a paladin. Yes, her, yes, he certainly doesn't seem to be following the neutral good alignment. No. Well, well neutral. Not... <laughs> yeah, neutral. Not necessarily good, just trying to go, Oh, hey, dead things, I want it. It's mine. Overall, it's for a good cause. I'm helping people. But how I get there is his own way. Yes, by taking the family pet and mittens and having his dead corpse in my bag and then swinging him by the tail and using him as a weapon, I am using him for a good cause. I'm sure Pretty that much. the jury will look very kindly upon that. Well, the cat's already dead. He don't mind. I mean, I didn't kill the mum and take a spear, which I thought about doing. I mean, jeez. Or use the children as a human shield, although I did try that and you guys wouldn't let me. <laughs> I see your point. <laughs> Do you? I'm I'm hesitant to believe that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moving on. Can I join the short sleep and recover my spell slots? Uh, short rest, time? yes. Uh, well, you well your spell slots recover over a long rest. Ah, but okay. Ah. okay. Yeah, as do Elena. Okay. All right. We should head over to the armory. I'm the only one that regains it from a short rest. Okay. Yep. Oh, over to the armory you go. You're able to. Uh, they're they're a bit scarce on supplies, but any uh, any bolts or arrows or javelins that you've expended, you are uh, you are able to recover. Cool. And I mean, I have five javelins again. Cool. Yes. And oh. can I try and persuade a guard to give us some better gear? You can certainly try. Although I'll need you to tell me how you phrase it exactly. Oh. So, um, me and my adventurers, uh, we saw that big nasty thing you got outside. We're gonna try and see what we can do to deal with the problem. We're a bit short crypto. I don't think a uh. Little, my little uh, toothpick of a sword and shield is going to do much uh, good against it. Do you have anything better that can we, we can use? Alright, go ahead and roll your persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, that's meant to be my guy's strength. Fuck it. <laughs> nope. Alright. All right. Uh, gonna looks you up and down and kind of glances over your shoulder at the indicated party members. Who seem to be scattered about the map here. I'm standing there. I just stand there brooding. Thanks, <laughs> Nana. Jeez. <laughs> and uh, kind of goes. No offense, but you don't look much more capable than any of us. Oh! No. oh. Ow! <laughs> but fair point. We did defeat a whole army of kobolds and cultists. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not an army. <laughs> Believe me when I tell you, that's not an army. Okay. 
I don't, I'm You've yet to see an army. <laughs> a, a band of kobolds, then. <laughs> That'll work. Um, I point out that we helped the villagers, and they promised us some type of reward. Maybe they can help? Well, rewards are going to be scarce to come by in times like this. Maybe once everything's calmed down, but you'd have to talk to somebody about that. I'm just here keeping track of munitions, making sure everyone's well armed. Oh yeah, worth a try. That is a good point, Lena. <laughs> hmm. What's in this hole here? Um, that is the gate. Okay. And this one over here? And that one over there, that is, uh, that leads to a corridor that kind of runs through the place generally. Uh, leads through a few barracks, uh, a few makeshift rooms, very small, uh, not much there in the way of, uh, of awesome exploration, sightseeing stuff, but okay. eh, seems pretty sturdy. Okay. Hmm. And this over here? Uh, that room does have doors that I have not drawn yet. Because <laughs> I'm an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. While you do that, I'm going to look over the wall to see if I can see if there's any sign of the dragon. Okay. Go ahead and make a perception check. Oh, right. Yeah. Do that first. But is Tiny big enough to go and actually check that? Well, we'll see. Find out. <laughs> I can... No, I can't see over the wall. <laughs> a, a three is enough. <laughs> For you to know that you cannot see over this 40 foot high wall. <laughs> <laughs> what are these markers here? They're different to the others. Yes, that they are. And it's funny you should mention that because, that, because as you say that, I also realize that there's another thing that I have to draw, damn it. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I'm going to just go hang out by the fire. My yeah, guy's done for the day. DM was totally prepared for this. It's so good. I heard fire! <laughs> God, Crystal's here. Fuck. Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna go hang out by the fire. <laughs> Over here. He's made it easy for you, Crystal. <laughs> Over here. <laughs> I'm going to the fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hide among the women and children. <laughs> I am one of them. Can I there? <laughs> a little bit further away from Crystal and that fire. But I'm just going to hang out here. I I've failed every single roll so far, so I'm just going to relax here. <laughs> yes, well, uh, as you... Yes, well, uh, one of the guards does, call, does come down and, uh, and address the angles. Oi, you lot. You should come with us. Governor wants to speak with you. God, Hi, Governor. It wasn't me this time. I, I, I checked some barrels for a pulse and I didn't like it, okay? I'm sorry. Right. What did we talk to you about those drunken benders? <laughs> Alright. Uh, are we going inside the tower? Or the key? Uh, no, I'd be up the stairs here. Okay, yep. Yep, you're, go you're heading towards these two people. In the here. Yeah. As you approach, I'll give you a proper description here. To which two people are we heading towards, sorry? The tokens that are different. Oh, they would look like them, but the, yeah, they would look like them, but for some reason the module didn't customize their tokens, so I just had to drag an image in. Oh, okay. Yep. I mean, it's a typical game. The MP, uh, major characters always look a lot different from the NPCs. <laughs> yeah, yes, well. Don't forget to move Crystal. <laughs> oh, she's Spotify. She's perfectly happy where she is. 
That may be true. That may be true. Alrighty. Okay. Right. Well, so, uh, the cap the individual uh, up top there, he is a, a an individual stout of figure, though not quite as stout as your paladin friend, clad in uh, heavy plate armor, uh, with shield in one hand. Uh, and his, uh, his hand resting on the pommel of his, uh, of his sword on his right. A uh, long, flowing red beard. Very, uh, very well braided. Seems to be well kept in, uh, in, in quite contrast to the, uh, disheveled red hair that is cut short on his, on his head. As he, uh, stands next to the, uh, to the individual. Clearly human, his hair graying in places a bit, uh, Head wrapped up in bandages, peering out over the uh, over the over the walls of the keep. Uh, speaking to the uh, to the shorter than average individual next to him. Uh, as he turns, you can see that one of his uh, one side of his robes is uh, very battered and bloody, and the right side of his uh, the right side of his face and his right arm are both. Very heavily bandaged, his arm in a sling. <laughs> the uh, turns to you, and the uh, and the the captain of the guard, as you uh, as you gather it, kind of tenses his hand on his sword a bit, and he kind of gestures with his good hand to to stay his weapon. So. Good tidings. I don't believe I've uh, seen any of you before. Um, I tell him that we're uh, adventurers. So, uh, hello, good sir. We're adventurers in town. We were wandering through when we uh, saw that bit of a problem you had out front. Yes, uh, a problem indeed. One that I'm afraid we may be uh, rather ill-equipped to deal with on our own. We've not quite, uh, not quite had to deal with problems like this before. This is, is there anything, is there anything we our... can do to assist? Perhaps. Ah, but, uh, of course. With all the panic, I've forgotten my manners. Uh, I am, uh, I'm governor, I'm Tavro Nighthill, the governor of this uh, town of Greennest, and this is, uh, the captain of the guard. Uh, Captain Escobert the Red, as he is known. And he, uh, he kind of gives a nod. Not general. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too. I'm Tobias, leader of this gang. And he's my fellow comrades. <laughs> Elena, the fire starter. And I introduce the rest of the group. Do you introduce them by their character names as well? Or do you introduce them by their player names like you just did? <laughs> but this is Crystal, our fire starter. I introduced them all by their actual character name. There you go. Really You'll get it. Voice. <laughs> I'm trying. You're a gnome! His voice changes every game. It really does. <laughs> Top of the morning to you. This is a bit better. Oh, well, you might be needing to work on your Irish accent a bit, but it could be possible, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually pretty good. <laughs> hey, well, I've been working on it all day, don't you know? Pip, pip, da doodly do. This is the first string of the game. I'm trying, Beck. I'm, I'm trying. Um, I apologize for anyone in Ireland I have offended with that accent. I am so sorry. <laughs> also, thank you, Victoria, who just raided us with five people right at that moment. Oh god. Sorry guys. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. Real boy. Right. <laughs> right at that moment too, that's hilarious. That, that's terrible. I, 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 um, I forgot where we were off to now. You were introducing us. <laughs> yes. Put them on into you. So this is me dying, you hearty mates. So I introduce everyone and by their character names. <laughs> Tobias the Bias. 
Yes. <laughs> the name's Tobias. Tiny for short. No need to explain why that's funny. <laughs> He's like, and uh, he, he comes and goes, show some manners. There are, there are guests here. And and if what they say is true, possibly just the uh, just the edge we've been looking for. Somehow. And uh, he beckons for you to follow him. And uh, he kind of you, uh, the six of you kind of walk around the perimeter as the guards pass by a bit. Somehow. I'm not sure how, but somehow there's been a cult in this town, and they brought with them a dragon of immense size and tremendous power. Obviously, you've seen results. A cult, you say? Where can we find them? Throughout town, most likely. We're not sure what it is that they want, precisely, but they don't seem to be attacking the keep. They simply keep a perimeter encircling us. From what we can tell, they seem more intent on looting than anything. Yes, but we're not quite sure why. Greenness small, is not the... Most small town like not, this. Exactly our thoughts. We're not nearly as prominent as Baldur's Gate, or even nearby towns such as Elturel. There's much more prominent places that someone could go to raid. So why here? Why now? It came without warning. There's still no telling where that beast is, how they got a hold of it, or if they intend to strike again. We need in we need information, answers. I give anything, just to have one, just to have one of their generals that we could interrogate, find something out. You say that you'll be able to help us. Perhaps that can be arranged. Things are a bit chaotic as of current, but once the chaos dies down a bit, perhaps we can. Find some way to reward you for your services, should you be willing to provide them. Now you're talking my type of language. So, where was these cultists last seen? Well, the, uh, the captain hands you a spyglass and kind of points out into the distance, off to the west. And says, you can take a look for yourself, lad. <laughs> They're everywhere. Circle in the keep, run throughout town. Chances are you'll probably find a few on your way in here. Aye, that we did. Not much left of them, though. Glances at Nana and her staff. <laughs> he kind of chuckles at that. <laughs> he kind of chuckles at that bit. Aye. <laughs> uh, good on you. They deserve it for the shit they put us through. He points off uh, into the distance a bit at, uh, specifically, hey, that one there. And you see through the spyglass uh, a glimpse of uh, a humanoid individual surrounded by almost a dozen, a dozen kobolds. And she herself seems to be, uh, you see a faint glint of metal across the, uh, across the front of her and near the legs. Judging by the looks of it, she appears to be wearing some kind of armor, uh, with a prominent scowl upon her face, short black hair, uh, and, uh, and very dark, dark purple robes over her armor, carrying some kind of, uh, some kind of pole arm, you're not sure what. Or she disappears behind a tree line, uh, with her entourage. I'm not sure where they came from, but... That one seems to be one of the higher ups. The scary folks seem to listen to her. It looks like that's what we need to hit then. Well, the real danger is to the town. And those who didn't make it to the keep before we closed the gates. We couldn't keep 
We couldn't keep everyone in. We had to save as many as we could. But with that thing hidden right for us, we had no choice but to close the gates. Now they've closed in on perimeter too close for us to risk it. There's still a chance that we can get some of them back, though. There is a, there is a way out of the keep. It's not been used for many years, but it may still serve its purpose here. Um, my guy asked him to show us where it is, and uh, we can try and sneak out and uh, rescue as many villagers as we can and try and capture the general. Mm -hmm. He nods and uh, yeah. the turns the door to open the way. Give him a nod, pull me, and he leads you back down the stairs uh, through to the, uh, the building here, which opens up into kind of a makeshift war room, several desks and bookshelves, uh, torches, and uh, a, few bra a few braziers lit uh, around the room, uh, so, and uh, behind a... Uh, a he stuck up pile of barrels, which he kind of just shoves out of the way. There's uh, there's an iron gate behind it that he kind of gestures to as he kind of fumbles in his pouch for a second. And, uh, this here used to be one of, used to be an old waterway. Might serve the purpose the purpose here. It's meant to get clean water from the river, but hasn't been used in years. Haven't needed it. But the tunnels still should be fairly dry. It leads you right out the keep. Should be safe from any uh, any onlookers. If not, I reckon you can handle yourselves, eh? I reckon we'll do our best. Hey, I'd like to believe that. <sighs> the best way for you to be going now, and he kind of points off to the east, is eastward. It's a temple there to Shantae. That's where a lot of them have been held up, or so our scouts have been telling us. Many of them are held up there. Many of them gaily folk are gathered round as well. With any luck, you might be able to get there without much trouble. I'd be, I'd be careful though. There's bound to be many people there. Not many of them nice, if you catch my drift. Aye. You have to think smarter. Them scalies are numerous, and they can overwhelm you. But if you can outthink them, you might have the edge you need. And he, uh, he hands you uh, in, uh, two keys. One pretty standard looking, the other one a bit rusty, and points to the uh, to the ladder and says, that one will be for the gate on the other side. The one in much better condition is for this one, and he just kind of taps on the gate behind him and gives a little bit of a <laughs> rattling of metal links against themselves. Well, let's get back to my post. Good luck to you. I thank you for your for your help. We'll be back as soon as we can. Yeah. Any uh, any nods and kind of kind of uh, jogs off towards the uh, towards the ladder again to resume his post. You are all left here in this room, next to the gate. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm actually needing a short break. Can we pause for a moment? Sure. Excellent Can place to take a break. Well, while we do that, we're alone in this room now, aren't we? There's a few, uh, a few soldiers in here, looking over maps and such, but... Uh, are you checking uh, pulses yeah, again? Much. Are you checking pulses again? 
I was just going to see, but if there's some guards here, I better not. I threatened <laughs> Tobias with my staff. Okay, we're good. Well, I'm not going to check. <laughs> uh, we'll take a quick break here then, and we'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay. Five minute break? Be right back. Or do you need longer than that, Kitty? Uh, just a short break. Okay. Be right back. Be back in a moment, guys. Welcome back, everyone, from a short little Ooh. break. <laughs> Thank you for hanging on whilst we, yeah, took a break. Blah, words, things. <laughs> Alright, so, I assume yes. you're going to enter the tunnel then. Mm -hmm. Yes. Alright, I would like a marching order if you wouldn't mind. I will go first. I'll go after him. Unless I can whack anything above him with my staff. And I'll, okay. I'll bring up the rear. And Crystal, I guess, go behind me. Yes, good, because it is rather dark in here, so the human should have someone on the side of them who can help guide them. Mm -hmm. As well as having someone uh, in the back to go and see uh, anything that may come out uh, behind. Yeah, it's good to have your sniper at the back, basically. <laughs> Well, if anything were to go and catch me off guard, every most of the party would actually have a bad time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, Ooh, I like the music. Mm. <laughs> All right, gonna have to change through a few screens because the scrolling is unwieldy here. Brace yourselves. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay. So. This narrow tunnel runs from the war room beneath the keep down towards the river to the bank of a stream, or so you've been told. It's wide enough to allow you to pass through it in single file. Easily enough, the gate swings open and you all file inside, closing the gate behind you. Behind you, there is a very faint bit of light emanating. But beyond that, the sheared blackness. Okay. Um, I try and stare into the distance a little bit further. Okay, make a perception check. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Finally. Natural 20, okay. Uh, you, you don't see anything further ahead, but you do hear faint clicking against stone. Oh god. Is it like metal clicking or wood clicking or like... It's tough to say. It sounds like something moving across stone. It could be pebbles, it could be... Uh, could be something walking, could be some kind of objects falling. Could be a stone tossed through the gate, skittering across the ground. It's hard to tell from this distance. Hmm. I'm going to check the darkness for a pulse. <laughs> Beck was for the no, check. you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Beck, I tried. <laughs> ah, gee. Just no attacking the darkness, please. Attacking? He's trying to rob it. <laughs> no, I'm just checking for a pulse, making sure it's still alive. At this point. <laughs> no, I don't. I lightly tap Tobo's on the hip of my staff and nudge him to move forward. 
Don't do that. Of the crits that you roll, you'll fucking kill me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I Don't need to be able to see some more so I can move it. See some more of the map. All right. So you press on a bit further, and I will point out that uh, the room, the tunnel, is wide enough for you to pass by in single file. You can maybe squeeze past one another in here, but uh, along the length of it, it is. 10 feet per square. Okay. So you are able to get uh, several feet further in here. The, uh, the clacking and almost skittering noises seems to get louder, more prevalent. What is everyone's passive perception? 10. Eleven. Uh, which perception was that, sorry? Passive. passive. Oh, passive. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, sixteen. Oh, fuck, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I was looking where it was. I was looking the wrong spot on the, sh on the sheet. <laughs> god, your character's a god. No, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> Check it with a stick. <laughs> yeah, if you watch, she's a god, and then the first thing she does when it hits level two is turn into a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> squirrel god. She's freaking McGonagall up in here. She's a cat, and then uh, leaps off the desk, and then witch. <laughs> <laughs> So we try and probably sneak up on them as well. Oh, we wouldn't use sneak. Elena's either going to freaking full on Metal Gear Solid the entire thing, <laughs> or Metal Gear Solid the whole thing in a box and fall over and die. Well, she can't use the box, so it would catch on fire. True. <laughs> <laughs> so, with a passive of 16 and a 15 from the cleric, you are able to see... Uh, the floor and walls around you begin to move. Oh. Uh -oh. Wait, can can I cast light? You can. And you do. You cast it on your mace, I believe. Or something yep. else. Yep, on the mace, but and... Uh, always... You can always put uh, cast it on tiny. I was, got, I was waiting for it. I was bloody waiting for it. <laughs> Uh, it's not a human torch, okay? <laughs> or a gnome torch. Of course not! You would be a gnome torch! <laughs> God damn it. I was waiting for it. <laughs> so Crystal casts light? She does. This is going now, in darkness, you can hear you can hear the skittering, and now the shifting of the walls is much more apparent as two swarms of rodents uh. start to skitter along the ground around you. Uh, right. Um, <laughs> someone here can talk to animals. They're rodents. Did you want to talk to them and see if they can scout ahead for us? <laughs> Better rats than other things. Well, since the battle music battle just started, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Oh no, battle music battle stopped. Music. <laughs> no, that was just normal music. <laughs> it sounded like battle music. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> they do attack. Yeah. I will need for you all to roll initiative. Okay. Uh, initiative, initiative. I'm getting flushed, but... <sighs> oh, great. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Seems that under fair. You wanted to send the result of this roll to the turn tracker, but... No, you got... Oh, whoops. Oh, oh. I gotcha, I gotcha. Can we just roll it's again? Good. No. Okay. 
I got it. I can add you. Thank you. Sorry for us to do that again. My bad. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, I can roll again. Honestly, I don't mind. <laughs> yes, but I do. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Be nice to the DM. Nope. <laughs> Oh, it's okay. You can be mean to me. You just have to wait and see what happens. Uh, I love my powers. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Go on, Anders. <clears throat> Jeez, it'd be really good if we could have someone who could talk to a freaking rats for us. Jeez. Well, well, I don't have any slots remaining, so even if I wanted to, I cannot right now. Oh, okay. You could, but it would take 10 minutes. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that's right. I can do it without a slot, but yes, it'll take too long. Okay, never mind then. Um. I was gonna say now. Oh yeah, we 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 did it with the wolves anyway. I don't think it would probably work again. Rats aren't as smart as wolves. Exactly. You so, talk to them and they'd be like, "Jeez, mmm," and sound like Yoda. I think these rats are more. I think like this. On the go back, do we have? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Funny joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Use your D20 you have, hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Well, at least there's only two for us to deal with, so that's fine. Crystal, you are the first to react. You shine your light off of your mace and look down and see the writhing mass that was the wall is now several rats closing together to form a swarm that seems to be staring hungrily at you. Oh no! <laughs> An excellent response. <laughs> I'm getting flashbacks. Please don't set them on fire. We're in such no, a small I space. How did you know what I was thinking? Because <laughs> <laughs> well, see, oddly enough, that's exactly what happened in another campaign. She they got set up on by rats, and she set the rats on fire and set one of her party members on fire. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> And then Ooh. she brought him back. Then she brought him back up for someone else to light him on fire. <laughs> hey, they got the way. <laughs> so yeah, we're in nice. She can't really set them on fire anyway because she doesn't have any spell slots. Ah, oh, phew. Well, good. <laughs> no, don't don't challenge her. Don't sit, don't give her a challenge. She'll find a way. Are you talking Wait, to yourself I have there? <laughs> <laughs> I, I have sacred flame, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, um. You know we're in a nice, tight, enclosed space. Would you like to use that? Yes! Oh, okay. <laughs> we're all gonna to die. die. Okay, deck save. Hmm. They pass, unfortunately. The, uh, the, okay. the holy flames splash harmlessly against the wall and vanish. The rats kind of Shifting out of the way, almost like almost like a cartoon. They just form a perfect hole where the fire is, and then coalesce back together. <laughs> Gee darn it! <laughs> How to bring us to Rathena? Okay, uh, I actually have a question. With the uh, Explorers Pack, was there uh, food that came with it? Uh, you do have rations, yes. Kind of dried rations, like jerky and such. Well, I'm gonna actually take a little bit of that and drop it for the rat. Okay, make an animal handling check. Okay. <laughs> Alright, where are you dropping this? I'm dropping it uh, off behind where I am. So, around here. Okay. Uh, some of the rats do not seem phased, but 
Some of them immediately start darting for it. We now have two swarms. No, you now have three. <laughs> damn, damn it! <laughs> However, two of them are smaller than the one next to you, Tiny. Yay! <laughs> Is that would that be considered a full action uh, with what I did? I would I would count it as your interaction. So you still have your action. Okay. Um, I will actually cast. Electric Blast on this one over here. Okay. Roll it. Uh, well, that went great. Nope. Ugh. Hits the wall next to you. Whew, at least it hit the wall. <laughs> yep. You aim, yep you, aim, you aim forward, it goes directly right. <laughs> <laughs> so much so that you almost startle you, some almost startle yourself as you like you intend to point a bolt of force forward, and then immediately the the wall right next to you shakes in the top dust. Like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> anything else? No, that's it. Okay. Now it's, now it's the swarm's going. And... They're... They're gonna go for the, uh, for the one who just tried to attack them. So they will move on to you and occupy the same space as you. Ooh. And attempt to attack. Uh, they just can't seem to find purchase in you, though. <laughs> Poor Crystal, you got rattled over you. <laughs> get her, get her, get her, squeak, squeak. <laughs> <laughs> nah! Send out the flames! Hmm. Well, I was going to whack those rats, but probably not a good idea while they're trying to get a hold of Crystal. Oh, go for it! <laughs> <laughs> Use my quarter staff to hit the rats down where I'm cooking. All right, roll it. Ugh. Well, that'll hit. Roll damage. Okay. Thirty-two thousand. Nah, only eight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I right. still and uh, you should you should still. You should be specifying uh, one-handed or two-handed when you swing, because oh, there is a oh. difference between the two. Sorry. Sorry. Um, probably two-handed, but it's alright. Alright. Thank you. So, that is a significant amount of damage. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, with that single hit, you just kind of take your staff in two hands, move a bit further down along it, and just swing it like a, ba like a baseball bat, and just... <laughs> Just knock out almost half of the swarm. Probably most of it lands on Tiny, sorry. <laughs> I raise my shield to again protect myself. Yes, as a, yeah, as a hero poo, ping, ping, ping. <laughs> as, a, as a rat head just kind of splats against the shield and kind of. Can you not fight next to me, please? <laughs> my dry cleaning cost is going to be insane. <laughs> It's expensive to get brains out of friggin' chain mail. <laughs> and they retaliate by attempting to attack you in kind. Of course. <laughs> uh, not gonna hit though. They're just, you're both just covered in rats that don't seem to be able to damage you. Okay. They'll bring us to bias. Oh, shit, you're all covered in rats. There's very little I can do. Um. <laughs> so I take it if I swing at Nana and miss, the, I'm gonna hit her. I'm not at liberty to say. Alright. I'll use my interaction first. I'll use Intimidation to try and start all the rats off of Nana. That'll be an action. That'll be an action? Yeah, interaction is object interaction, not creature interaction. Oh, uh, right, okay. 
Well, instead of trying to swing, I'm going to try and use Intimidate to scare off the rats. Roll it. How are you intimidating them? Uh, I'm just going to do a massive boosty roll while banging on the side of the uh, wall with my uh, shield and sword. Okay. I look forward to the squeak. Me too! Ooh. Bit of a squeak with a bit of a bite to it. It's the shield that did the sound. <laughs> the ones on Crystal do not seem to move. The ones on Nana uh, fall off. But as their reaction, move onto your space and start crawling all over you. They do not attack, but you are now covered in rats. Ah, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> That's fine. I've got a higher AC. Crystal, back to you. Yes. <laughs> What are you doing? Um, can I... Can I get the rats off of me? You can try. I'm trying. Uh, Alright. How are you trying to get them off of you? Um... With my mace? Okay. <laughs> Taking a couple of whacks on a rat. Alright. <laughs> Seventeen will hit. Holy crap! <laughs> Whack a mole. Yeah. <laughs> Three points of bludgeoning damage. Yeah, you you squish one of them. Yay! All right, that'll then bring us to this swarm, which is hungrily uh, scrabbling amongst itself over the. Uh, the dried piece of meat that Rathena dropped on the ground next to her. That'll bring us to Rathena. Okay. Well, before I go and uh, take any big, uh, big actions, I'm going to toss another piece of uh, ration onto the ground over here. All right, roll another animal handling check. Okay. All right, this one falls to the ground. Uh, none of the rats are reacting, however. They're currently clambering over the piece of meat currently in their vicinity. Uh, no worries. It, it, it'll help with other things. But with that, I will, I will do another Eldritch Blast. But at the ones that are over here. Okay, roll it. That's a go. hit. Mm. Roll damage. Holy okay. crap, that's a hit. <laughs> Three points of force <laughs> damage, yeah. Yeah, you blast one of them off of Tiny's head. <laughs> Thank you. You can feel the force just <laughs> right by. <laughs> Darn, a little bit more to the left next time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, swarm on Crystal. They're chomping away. Can't seem to get through the armor though. Nana. Hmm. I believe I have a torch. Possibly. You should. I don't know where to check it though that I have one. <laughs> it's in it's in your pack. You do, yeah. You... How do it's I in your pack. pack? Uh it's in your items. Uh I can probably pull up a something for it, hang on. Thank you. Um if you have an explorer's pack, you have a backpack, a bird roll, a mess kit, tinder box, ten torches, ten days of rations, a water skin, and fifty feet of hemp hemp and rope. Okay. Ah, ah. Oh, there we go. So you should have about <coughs> ten torches. If you would like to pull one out and light one, that'll take an action to do so, but you can do that. Yep, I will do that. Okay. Just give us a moment. Mm -hmm. 
Uh oh. It's just the music changing. It's going to be in the playlist. It's okay. <laughs> but he also said in a moment, I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> He's got something planned. Ah! I didn't realize what I had in my backpack, so there you go, I know now. I'm such a noob at this. <laughs> it's okay, oh, I've been there. Get the hang of it. <laughs> We've all been there. Alright, so, you have lit a torch. Woo! Is that all you're doing? Um, um, can I brandish it at one of the rats, or is that, uh, don't have enough action for that? No, uh, take your action to light the torch, unfortunately. Okay. Um, don't think I can do anything else, so I'll go next. Actually, I would allow you to cast Shillelagh on the torch, if you'd like, with your bonus action. Um... You could then use it as a club instead of a quarter staff, but oh. you do a similar damage. I wasn't aware of that. Okay, so should I just click on Shillelagh? Uh, you could just activate Shillelagh. Okay. So I don't need to roll it. No, it's just a thing you do. Okay. okay. Yep. Sure. Activate Shillelagh then. All right. Yes, the druidic energy kind of flows through the club. The flames gain a slight greenish tint to them. That'll be your turn, then. Okay. The rat's on Tobias. Alright, I'm going to use... Pull out my dagger and slash at the, um... No, um, not, because it's not your turn. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's the rat's mind. on you. It's the rat's on rat's you. On you. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm going to do nothing. <laughs> okay. I'm going to sit right here and wait. <laughs> Alright, what, what is your armor class? Um, 18. 18, okay. Yeah, they, uh, they're, yeah, they attempt to bite you, but, uh, you're able to shift your body in just the right way that they get the armor instead of you, which is good, because one of the rats was about to bite you right in the crotch. Your turn. <laughs> oh, like a good... Ugh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, phew, the bullets. Oh, God. Like I packed that, uh, cup. Alright, I'm going to use my dagger to try and stab the ones that are on me, so I shouldn't... Alright, All right, roll it. Oh yeah! Ooh, well done. Roll damage. Ooh. <laughs> Seven points, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, you feel the, the metallic against the con piece of your armor and in a frenzy you just bolt your dagger and go <laughs> <laughs> away until only one of them is remaining but, but it is the one that tried to stab you in the crotch that's right I'll, I'll show him what happens to his friends when uh, he tries to play with my family jewels I just wanted a light snack yeah rodents love nuts Crystal, you're up. Um, I'll try with my mace again. All right. <laughs> I so accept that. That was fantastic. <laughs> As do I. <laughs> I'll also try and go back and find it later and clip it. <laughs> hey, there's always YouTube, if not. Yeah, that is. Very true. Alright, 12. That will hit. Yep, another one of them is squished. There's uh, only one or two left now. Uh, and the ones next to Rathena, they're... There's... Tear, they've torn apart the dried piece of meat that you threw there and are now devouring it quickly. Doesn't look like they'll hold them there for long. Rudina. Okay. I am going to uh, 
throw down another piece uh, right among them. Animal handling? handling? Yes. You got a knife through to the end of this. Jeez, boy. <laughs> oh, shit. Maybe I should be doing this. I've got a high animal hand. Well, <laughs> yes, they see they see the meat this time before they uh, before they hear it, and then lunge at the hand holding it. Uh oh. Okay. With that, I would go and use hellish rebuke. They don't attack, but they do crawl all over you. Okay. Okay, I'm covered. Then. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even about covered in rats. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were. I wasn't oh. one point. Yeah, and then I saved you, but you're welcome. <laughs> okay. We you saved her butt, nearly lost your junk. <laughs> yeah, jeez. Her butt for my junk. Fair trade. <laughs> <laughs> well, considering that this has gone so well, I have, uh, I decided to make another attack with Eldritch Blast to one of the rats that's on me. Alright, you'll roll this with disadvantage because you're trying to attack something that is within 5 feet of you with a ranged attack roll. Okay. There we go. <laughs> That'll still hit. Roll damage. Nice. Ooh. Holy crap. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, one of the rats explodes and its claws <laughs> and teeth and other various bits pierce through several of the other rats, leaving only one left on you. Just clung <laughs> to you by the... Uh, is clung to you by the, almost by the skin of its teeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! Yeah, that's okay. the, that'll bring us to the remnants of the swarm on Crystal. <laughs> that will attempt. Will attempt to attack her. Uh, to answer AC guard's question, the closest we have is um, uh, Nana's ability to talk to animals, but. We're out of spells, so we had to fight. Mm -mm. Yeah. Uh, this one does actually chomp her in the thumb. Uh, it deals one point of damage to her. Uh oh. <laughs> Poor Crystal. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> <laughs> that was adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Nana. I will brainish my um, torch at the rats that are on crystal. <laughs> okay. Thank you! <laughs> make, make an attack roll with your quarterstaff, and we'll use the one-handed damage because it's the same damage dice. Okay. Um, I, if I just click it once, is it one-handed, or...? Uh, no, it pulls up two numbers. The number on the left is the one-handed. Okay. It rolls a oh, decent yeah. and it... I got what you mean. Sorry. That'll hit. Nice. Yep. Uh, you incinerate it. <laughs> Hopefully not hurting Crystal. <laughs> uh, no, it did not. Although the fire seems a bit more comforting. <laughs> it is a welcome sight to her. Yay, fire! <laughs> oh, it does solve all my problems. Yay! <laughs> I told you it could be nice. <laughs> God. Yeah, this is. These are nice fires. <laughs> uh, Fire is my friend. <laughs> that will bring us to the rat on the bike. Hello, my old adversary. A nineteen bring it. will hit. Oh, for fuck's sake! God damn it! <laughs> yeah, you feel a, a bit of unwelcome pain towards your nether regions. Take two points of piercing damage. <laughs> oh. God damn it. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, down to 10 health. God damn it. Alright, I am going to grab it, throw it to the ground, and stomp on its head. Um, I'll have you make an athletics check, and then nah. make an attack. No, no I'm, I'm just gonna... Uh, why not? <laughs> Okay, yep, you grab it, you throw it to the ground, make your attack. Um, what do you want to attack with? Uh, you said you wanted to stomp dagger. on it. You said you wanted to stomp on it, so I'd say yeah. just roll the d20, add your strength modifier. 
I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Just, uh, I'll take it. Uh, Is it that? Yes, and then add in your strength modifier and your proficiency bonus. So, plus two and plus whatever your strength bonus is. Um, I got a three and a sixteen on my strength slot. Uh, so it's plus three, plus two for proficiency. Nine, that will just miss, unfortunately. Aww. Damn it! But the rat is off of you. Woo! <laughs> Blue right the bastard. Crystal. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that means it's your go. Is there any more rats? Yes. Aim towards the fire. And I cast sacred flame on them? Yes, which one? The one on Tobias or the one on Rudina? Um. I, I guess Tobias? <laughs> Is <laughs> right. that one be on the ground now? Yes, it is. And it is able to roll out of the way just in time. It just passed its deck save. Unfortunately, took no damage. Mm. Uh, the one on Rathena is now trying to, uh, trying to chomp at your hand. Misses, though. Rathena. Okay. The last, the one that's on me. Yep. I He's gonna bot it. Chill, I use chill touch. Okay. <laughs> also a ranged attack roll. So you'll have to roll with disadvantage. I will point out that you do have a dagger, though. This is true. So I am still gonna go with the uh, chill touch. Uh, chill touch. All right. Alright, roll your spell attack with disadvantage. Okay. Twelve, that'll still hit! Uh, damn it. Yep, you watch the rat begin to rot before your eyes and then just fall off of your hand. <laughs> now, I thought it was the thing would have just grabbed and bit its head off, but that works too. <laughs> <laughs> My athletics would not have been so kind. Okay. You could have drained the blood out of it. Yeah, but I think that I'll go and get my sustenance later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, that'll bring us to Nana. Um, I'm thinking something a little different. I might cast a frostbite on the rat that's on the ground. Okay. Go ahead and use it then. I'll see what save he needs to make. Con save. Alright. Alright. <laughs> I was gonna give him disadvantage on this, but I'm not even kidding. Two natural 20s. Holy oh, crap. That uh, I'm, screen <laughs> I'm screen capping this and putting it in the Discord. Okay. Okay, so yeah, Andrew got a therapy spell for that traumatic writing experience. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need some therapy after this. And a tetanus shot. My groin. Ah, uh, well, I guess he avoided that. Could have been worse for it. You could have hit me. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. Because you said 19, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Sneaky rat. Do you want to tell just, um, crystals are taking their mind? <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh. I think we lost our DM. Oh, yeah, he's gone quiet. Oh. Well, the rat right. killed our DM. <laughs> Holy crap. That's one hell of a rat. 
Ah, Discord was messing up on me. Alright, okay. uh, oh, good. Okay. So, it is going to attempt to run away. Nana and Tobias, if you choose, you can take attacks of opportunity against it. Yep. Yes, please. Of course I will. I will as well. Alright, roll them. Uh, I use my quarter staff two handed. And I've right. got my dagger out, so I'll just use my dagger. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you fuck! She very much is. <laughs> you pin his head on your dagger, and as he writhing, the last bits of life in him, the end of the quarter staff just. Squishes him, the rest of his body becoming a pancake. <laughs> That's funny. And with that, we drop initiative. Yeah. <sighs> that was a thing. Damn it, Crystal. Stop playing with Thank fire. You. God damn it. <laughs> hey, the fire did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> did more damage with the a little lower. At least I didn't light you on fire. I was very worried about that. <laughs> <laughs> it deals radiant damage. You would have been not on fire. Okay. Alrighty, I guess we can continue moving down this tunnel. I checked the rats for a pulse. Oh, it is dead. <laughs> <laughs> you find that the rat is dead. I had the worst sleight of hand. Why? I don't think we could succeed on it. Uh, right. Okay, I hand my torch to Tiny, and so he can see down the ho uh, to his first. No tunnel. While they're doing that, I'm gonna move all the rats off to the side of the tunnel as we move on. Yeah, easy enough. You just kind of shift them out of the way with your feet. Alright. And... Yeah, with the darkness. <laughs> quickly enough, you find yourselves at a... Oh, very rusted iron gate. Oh. And um, I use the key to unlock the gate. Okay... I will have you make me a dexterity check. Uh oh. <laughs> um. That one. Thirteen. Yeah, this is a it's a pretty damaged key and a very very old lock, so it takes a little bit of finesse to get it to turn, a little bit of force, and the uh, key does break off in the gate, but you are able to open it. As it opens with the metallic squeal, it's... Cool. So once everyone's through, I close the gate again and put the lock... lock. Is it like a padlock, or just a normal lock? Uh, no, a lock built into it. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna try and relock it, but we can't. Well, I have. You are paying for that. Not my fault. Older than your mum. I, I don't know. Brandish my staff at Tiny and tell him to behave. You know, do you know what sound a drum makes when it falls off a cliff? But um, <laughs> Oddly enough, it's the same sound a gnome makes when it bounces off the cliff and falls into the water below. <laughs> <laughs> Would you um, like to test that sound? I'm good, I'm good. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> good! And I'm here I thought a gnome falling into the water would be closer to like a whoop. <laughs> nah, it's the worst belly flop in the world. Um... <laughs> I'll just right. stay next to Nana, just in case. <laughs> okay. Nana's little shadow. <laughs> Aww. Okay. 
keeping an eye to uh, the north and the east of where I am. Ah, why are you in the walls? You're uh, actually, yeah, I was gonna say, you're in the wall. <laughs> I thought we were That's not a spell, you know, what? <laughs> okay, so that's a wall. Um, does someone want to see if they can try and give me the lock closed or not? There's no one else coming after us. No, so people can't sneak into the keep. See, my guy's a good guy. He's trying to protect the people in the keep. Keep but... telling yourself that, Tiny. <laughs> well, the loot more than anything. If they loot it, then I can't. I mean, jeez. Where are we heading? Uh, you head out to the edge of the terrain. Ah. But I'm... The river. Yes. Okay. Um, is it the you get? I, with this river, is this fresh water or salt water? Oh, it would be fresh water. Okay. I, I wash my hand. Water. All right. Yeah, so you take a moment to uh, remove the fastenings on the gauntlets of your armor and uh, give your hands a good thorough washing. And I wash the... pick out the rat teeth and clean the wound. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yes, you... You, tend to, <laughs> yes, you're, you you polish up your jewels. Yes, I polish my jewels. I look well, away. I don't want to see that. <laughs> Realize I forgot to move Crystal again. That's probably for the best, though. <laughs> Alright. All clear, Crystal. You can come wash your hand now. <laughs> don't think she can wash her brain, though. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, do you want me to do a medicine check on Crystal to make sure she doesn't get infected? She can do it herself. Okay, you can do it yourself. You should probably do that. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> well, that's yeah, you, you should be fine. <laughs> well, while this is going on, I'll actually look down the the, uh, the two different ways uh, for this uh, river. All right, make a perception check. Okay. There we go. Fifteen. Uh, you don't appear. Uh, you don't hear or see anyone. Okay. And I'll remove the auras at this point. Because there is enough ambient light for it to be dimly lit here. Because there are plenty of fires going on. And it is... Uh, the moon is in the sky. Though the clouds of smoke are dimming it a bit. So it is dim light around you. But you can still see. Okay. Oops, I need to click myself. <laughs> what do I see now, down uh, the river? Like, is there any... Uh rocky outcroppings or places that we could come up uh, that's a little bit safer? Well, uh, it, well it, it's not a river, it's a stream. It's this is not very deep, but you could definitely uh, just traverse up the edge. Before we do, Nana, can you do a perception check for me? Last time I went in water, it didn't end up very well. Perception check, Crimson? Uh, just check yes. what's in the water. Sure, I'll say. I'll say. Go ahead. Yeah. Holy crap! <laughs> you see through reality. It's <laughs> <laughs> the center of the earth. <laughs> you see that this is just a game, and life is meaningless. <laughs> suddenly they know. Suddenly they know what I look like. <laughs> <laughs> Why isn't our GM wearing pants? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, uh no, there, there, there's nothing there. Okay, cool. Thank you for the high spicy. Alright. Um, I start making my way through the river then. Make my way downtown. You, you don't actually have to. I'm moving the map oh. here. Just give me a second. Okay, so... This Ooh. is a map of greenness. It take a bit to load in, but uh, there. 
So you were here at the keep. We're now down over here. And to the west over here is the Temple of Shantae that you were directed towards. Alright, I'm just zooming out so I can see it. Over here? Uh, no. Over here is the temple. Oh, there we go. That's better. Oh, that's nice and shiny now. Now it's nice yeah. and shiny. I'm just trying to zoom right. in so cool. I can see it all. There we go. So this was the keep up here, was it? No, this here. Oh, there we go. Um, not showing up on mine, sorry. It's not it's showing you. up on the map. Uh, on the screen. So this oh, one? Ah, uh, yep, cool. Cool, so that's the keep? Yes. And where are we now? Uh, now you are at this location. Just on the edge of the of the stream there. And the um, temple is directly to the east. So that's the temple? Yep. Cool. Oh, so we're down and, again, right. Okay. okay. And we must be over here then. The river? Yeah. Alright, cool. So we're here. Sorry, yours wasn't popping up on me, that's all. <laughs> Alright, cool. Alright, so, you'll be getting to... Yeah. Oh, you... <laughs> one I didn't actually have to set up? Okay. Yay, let's work on my part. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so then. You all begin to make your way there. How do you proceed? Um, I'd say we probably... Oh. Yeah, follow the stream. Alright, following the stream there, okay. Uh, we could go through the town and try and find survivors, but it's unlikely. Alright. I, um, I can only see a black screen. There's a reason for that. Okay. okay. We're blind. Right, so. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. you all proceed to just make your way as uh, quickly as you believe you possibly can towards the uh, towards the Temple of Shantae in the hopes of rescuing uh, the citizens trapped with inside. And you find yourselves on the southern wall of this, this place. And I need to drag your tokens onto there. Give me just a moment to get your tokens here, and then I will reveal where you are on this map. Before we approach it, I actually go and try to see what I can find out just from a distance. Hmm. Anything in particular you're looking for? Looking for whatever could be amiss, because things haven't exactly been uh, going in our direction. Can you make a perception check? Hmm? Make a perception check. Okay. 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 Based on what you can tell, uh, place did get hit by a dragon. That's pretty amiss. Anything else? Uh, there is smoke and fire coming from the temple and numerous other places around this, uh, the village of Greenest. Does it look like there was uh, anyone tried to force their way into the temple? Uh, from the distance that you were checking at, you could not see that yet. Okay. You do get up to the wall that surrounds the temple. Uh, about 15 foot high, made of stone. Uh, no, not 15 foot, 10 foot, sorry. Uh, and, uh, yeah. So yeah, you all made it here. You can hear a commotion from the other side of it. Okay. Various different shouts in various different languages. Uh, I'll say... Nana, if you'd like to make a perception check. You want me to make a perception check? Yep. Yeah. 
Right. If you'd like to. I still got a black screen, by the way. I'm assuming this house meant to be. Uh, bottom left corner. Holy bottom crap! Left left corner. Ah, there we go. Oh, you're all on the wrong layer. Here we go. <laughs> I'm still still gonna like everything's black. I can't see anything. In comparison, let's see how good Tiny's eyes are. Oh, he's actually not too bad. Uh, Tiny, you can hear the voices, but you can't make much of it out. Uh, you, however, uh, Nana, Please do manage apologies. to hear. Sorry. You manage to hear the uh, the voices from over this wall are actually speaking in draconic, various different shouts of uh, of of one draconic voice speaking to the other. Okay, I can speak draconic. Oh, he dropped out again. Yep. Ah. <laughs> the draconic. It, they got him. They didn't know what it was that they wanted to say. <laughs> We should we should scatter. <laughs> yeah, you're on your own. I'm out of here. <laughs> He'll be back in a second. <laughs> I'm gonna hide in this little white boat field. <laughs> I Goodbye. I'm just gonna wait for him. Alright, you reach his own. Yeah. I think has gone now. Uh oh. Cause, Cause I'm a dead person. Uh oh. What have you done, Tiny? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Tiny has committed suicide. He's off the map. Welcome back. Oh no! Uh oh. Hey, Crimson, are you back? Don't tell Crimson. Discord. Uh, I'm on your back, boy. Um. Tiny <laughs> has fallen off the earth. Or the plane of reality, whichever you prefer uh, to. So about that Buddhist sound we were talking about before he falls off the cliff. Um, <laughs> what what sound does a gnome make when he falls off reality? Uh, it's the game over screen. <laughs> oh, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> He has disappeared from reality. <laughs> oh jeez. Token it off. Oh, <laughs> ta-da! It's not no, magic I trick, I shall it. stay right here and not move. <laughs> yes, you shall. Uh, uh so... <laughs> no, I speaking to can move away. <laughs> <laughs> I can speak Because she knows her. What? Anyway. Yes, so... Yes, you can speak Draconic, so you hear a, uh... You hear the voices in Draconic speaking to one another, speaking various different words of things like smash, kill, various orders being barked at one another. Surround, surround the place. Patrol, keep the eyes out. Burn, smash, cut. Various different orders, all of them jumbling at the same time. It's hard to make out, but you are able to understand that it is Draconic. Okay. Sounds like fun. What do you do? Alright, um, is there any openings in the wall? On this side? Or any easy ways to get over it? Uh, you could... I'll say with an athletics check you could easily... make a running jump and get up to the top of it. At the very least, appear over. Do an athletics check. Best I can do for someone with such short stature. Got tiny legs. You, uh, yeah, you back, kind of, do a couple of squats, just kind of stretch your legs out. Just kind of shake things out. Uh, you get your best running leap, jump at the wall, and splat right into it. Ow. Okay, <laughs> we'll walk around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, I reckon we, yeah, we go west around the wall. Um, sneaky like and try and find. Um, Nana, you probably the best perception. Did you want to go to the corner of the wall and have a look around for us? Yep. Before we give ourselves away? No, not that far. Go back one square. There. 
the wolves still hide you. All right. All right. I'll have you roll. Uh, I'll have you roll in athletics to kind of reach up and pull yourself up to the wall so you can see over it. Ah, uh, we'll go and look around that side. All right. Thirteen. Yeah, easy enough to reach up there and find it and uh, reveal that for Tobias. Where he is walking around. And uh, Ravina and Crystal, what are you guys doing? <laughs> Well, I'm mostly just uh, trying to see what I can discern from here and there, though we'll probably have to go over the wall at some point. Okay. Um, so. I, I guess I'll follow um, Nana. Okay. Can I lift them up and then they can lift me up on top of the wall? You can certainly try. Do you want me to try and lift you up, Nana? No. <laughs> okay. We can always go around, but I thought maybe jumping over will give us a bit of a surprise attack on them. If they don't catch us. I think we should scout around a bit more first before we start leaping over the wall and attacking. Oh, no fun. Alright. What is the wall made of? Stone. It's just stone? Yep, just stone. <laughs> How high is it? Hmm. Ten feet. Ten feet. So, um... Not much of a climb for anyone but you. Yeah, pretty much. I'm going to need someone to lift me over. Uh, to the right. Is there any... Does the wall keep going around here, or is there a way to get through? Or is it... Come to uh, yes, it does keep going. There is... Uh, the opening would be from the northern end. Okay. Over this way. In a moment. Does the Explorer's yeah. Pack come with a shovel? It does not. Oh. It does come with a rope, though. Mm. Okay. So, are we going to walk around, or do you guys want to jump over? Mm. We'll, we'll toss you over, and you can go and tell us what's on the other side. Okay. Yeah, toss him over the wall. It's <laughs> yeah. Well, if Rafita gives me a boost, I'll jump over the wall. Or jump on... Can I jump on top of the wall? Uh, you can. Alright, I'll get Rafita to boost me on top of the wall. Do it over here, though, so we're a little bit Why further not? away from everyone. Why not? But you're going to have to go in there. We'll toss your shield up to you. Or hand it up. Whichever would go and work better. <laughs> well, it'd just be on my back, wouldn't it? No, we don't want extra weight. You already have armor on. We do not want to make it any heavier. All right. If someone else okay. wants to aid her in this, I will say that it's easy enough to push him up with two people. Yeah, I'll help. Okay. All right, yes. Easy enough. Two of you just eat. Kind of put your, just cup your hands down and just kind of push him up to the edge or he's able to just barely reach up and pull himself up onto the wall. Up on top of that. Yep. Now, I can let down my rope as well. Um. Alright. What are you... Are you just holding onto the rope? Uh, for now, um, before I jump over the other side. Um, but I'm going to look over here first. Or as much as, as far as I can. I wouldn't suggest going that far over. <laughs> no, I'm going to be on the wall. I'm going to look. See if anyone can see me. So I can find. Okay. Alright. I'll have you roll a stealth that. check, Tobias. A stealth? Yep. Uh oh. This is with disadvantage because you're our heavy armor. Mm. Uh oh. Mm, this was not a good Fuck. idea. What was that about stones? What? Nothing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, best case now, I'm actually out on the wall, so they got to get up to the wall to get to me. Cultus. Oh, there we go. Yeah. 
Well, we don't see them yet. Tiny does. Yep. So I can make another six strikes and two cultists. Um. Yes. Yeah, so you see these stone walls of the building. Uh, some of them rather berated by uh, by attempts to break them down to no avail. You see this group of uh, cultists and kobolds slowly circling around, keeping their eyes peeled for any sign of uh, any sign of opposition. And from where you are, you can make out a few forms over this way. They seem to be doing something towards the uh, towards the southeast corner of this building, though you're not sure what. Hmm. Oh, very, very, you, as you throw the rope down, you nearly lose your footing, and you realize that if you fall here, you're going to make a lot of noise. You need to make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> um, it's just... Uh... Saving throws, where are they? Is it just normal dexterity? Uh, dexterity saving throw. It's the first box above the others. You got strength, dexterity, constitution. Um. Do you need me to walk over there? It's right above oh, your saving, saving throw, right, okay. Dexterity. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, I said okay. <laughs> yep, this is yep, it's enough to barely let you keep your footing, but <laughs> it's close. As the cultists <laughs> are able to move ever so slightly and keep patrolling along. Um, as I whisper to the others basically what I see. Now, do you guys want to come across, or do you guys want to go around still? Might be our best opportunity right now to go over. Yeah. All right. And uh, easy enough, Tobias, you drop down the other side of the wall, holding the rope for them, acting as a suitable weight for the uh, three slightly less heavy forms to climb up and over the wall. I'll go first. Because I am able to go and at least go and give us a uh, cover fire, so to speak. Any um, doors in the building over here? On this uh, side? None that, none that you can see. Any windows? No windows either. Okay, cool. Uh, there are a few on this side, but they are all stained glass. Okay. And these guys haven't detected us yet, I take it? They're walk looking the other way? Nope, they are looking the other way. And it's five feet per block. Uh, uh, do you guys want to try and... Or ten feet? Five or three... Or ten It's feet. ten. Ten, okay. Okay. So do you guys want to sneak around to the right? Um, or do you guys want to take them on? We would need to get a bit... Closer if we were gonna even attack. From I reckon there. we go there and we can bottleneck them. We go this way for now. I say at least go and get at us uh, over here as stealthily yeah. as we can. That's why I say we stick along the wall until we get over here until we're out of sight, and then we move up this way. All right, everyone, roll stealth checks then. Okay. We're here with you. Okay. I seem to be okay so far. God damn it, Elena. I mean, Crystal. <laughs> Natural one. <laughs> Tobias, you're still rolling with disadvantage because of that heavy armor. Right, my bad. It's fine. <laughs> Sorry. So, still the 14. <laughs> 
Alright, we'll go to 14 then. Yep. So Crystal, with blatant disregard for stealth, is just worried about the- he's just kind of staring at the flames, just walks out into the open while the rest of you are trying to be sneaky. <laughs> doesn't surprise me. <laughs> he's like, ooh, fire. <laughs> Why is pretty? Well, at least he's not uh, covered in uh, heavy armor to go and, uh, you know, battle. <laughs> No, no, the, uh, the, the leather armor she wears is actually quite quiet. That is a good thing. Yeah, she does walk straight out into the open, though. Lovely. <laughs> Means I have to I'm roll something. I'm to see if we actually drew any attention with that. Uh, I'm rolling to find that out. <laughs> Let me know if I'm moving my character too far. I think you should wait to see what happens with Crystal running out into the open first before you creep across the open. <laughs> a wonderful choice of things. Okay. Uh, with a two, they do not see her. Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> we were lucky then. Let's, let's move on. Basically end up oh, you have no idea. Yeah, do you guys have moved forward a bit more? You guys want to follow them, or see if we can get these guys? I think we'll go in that we may want to, but we may want to choose a better spot. Because yeah, what if spot you're is... in front of stained glass, they will be noticeable by anyone inside that may or may not be uh, helping them. Well, how about we go over here and we try and just draw some of their attention? Draw them into an ambush? Yeah. So if you guys all go over here, yeah. I can whistle and then run around. Or one of you guys are a little bit better on speed. We can try. Can we go and move stealthily up to that point? Another stealth check from Molly. Okay, apparently I made it all right. You all think you're being very sneaky. Someone's on top of the roof watching this. Fuck. <laughs> no, I'm, just saying, I'm just saying that you all believe that you're hidden. But there's this building here which we can't see inside. It's probably got windows and... Yeah, yeah Crystal and Nana are clearly visible with their three and six though. Yeah, they're literally doing a thing where they're just like sneak, 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 sneak. <laughs> just like the tiptoes, hands up by the face, <laughs> while shouting. Really low, I'm so really sneaky. High. No, they're not shouting. <laughs> Fortunately enough, they are not. Um, Crystal's still a bit distracted by the fire. She's like, "Oh, right, uh, self mission. Um, sneakily admiring fire." <laughs> What's your speed, um, blood? Oh, I think Everyone's five feet faster than you. Ah, uh, okay, fair enough. Do one of you guys want to draw the attention, or do you want me to do it? I think we should go and get, uh, Crystal to draw the attention. <laughs> Simply put, she's a little bit faster than you, but she'll yeah. actually draw the attention. I'll just go over there and then make a whistling sound or something to try and draw some of them. I'm willing to bet it will come out as a squeak somehow. Wait, no, no, you can speak draconic. Mm hmm. I can. Did you want to try. Um. Did you want to try and. Call two of them to come over or something? Uh, oh, they're, they're gone. <laughs> you don't know? Uh. You're all over here, you can't see them. 
Yeah, right. I, I, I really want to go check out what's the right, rather than try and get this patrol that's moving around. Okay. Let's go to the right then. Okay. Are there any windows on this building? Asked that already. Uh, yeah, the answer is no. no. Not on this side. Not Over this here side. they are. Yeah, none. Also, none on this already. Okay. Uh, do you want to do the same thing and go to the corner? Uh, Larissa, and do another perception check. Uh, yeah. Alright, peeking out from around this corner. No need for a perception check there. Oh, alright, sorry. But you did one anyway, it's fine though. <laughs> <laughs> And from there, peeking out, you can now much more clearly see uh, two kobolds, uh, one of which is holding a torch, the others are uh, piling on, uh, or the other is holding some kind of thatch-like material, almost like hay or straw, and is uh, putting it... Uh, Somewhere over towards the edge of the building. Are they facing us or what? Uh, they are facing towards the building. They don't seem to have noticed you. While this is going on, I actually go and keep an eye behind us. Just in case. Okay. So, what are we going to do? We don't know uh, whether that patrol is going to keep just going around the building, or come back the way they came? Well, well, um, well, we don't know where they are at this stage. I'd say we probably, um, we can only see two of them for now. Um, try and take them out from here. Athena, did you want to come up and um, do a sniper shot? That's fine. I'll, I'll actually move to about I think it's keeping an eye behind us. Yeah. Well, what range attacks do you have? So I thought maybe Nana and Rathina are time their attacks and try and take it one out each. Crystal might be able to take one out with a crossbow. Unfortunately, Frostbite would not reach if it has a range of only 60 feet. Yeah. Because the nearest one is 70 feet away. Crystal oh. would be able to hit one with a crossbow, though. So Crystal and Rathena, do you guys want to take one out and I'll keep an eye behind us? Uh, sure. Certainly. I think my, He's totally uh, going to stare at your ass. My, I think Elgin's <laughs> blast, blast can actually reach him if I go and get into uh, get into around that word. Elgin's oh, Blast has a range of 120 feet. Cheapest. Okay. Hmm. So as long as you guys are like, around here. They move to about here. I take okay. All right. All right, I'll have you two both roll stealth checks to uh, see if you can creep out there while hidden and get your shots aimed. Okay. Disadvantage or normal? Uh, I'll say you're trying to stealth out in the open, so I'll say stealth checks with disadvantage this time. Okay. Okay. Holy crap. Okay. All right. Here we go. Swarm. And this war box. This damn crystal. This is going to go really well or really bad. <laughs> <laughs> there it was. And another natural one from Crystal. <laughs> when the dice support narrative, just a, she's just too nervous. She kind of bumps into Rathena, doesn't even realize she's there, and just lets out. Why? A little... <laughs> Why me? <laughs> <laughs> Well, while this is going, I will take my as quick a shot I, as I can with Eldred's Blast to this one. However, she does have enough common sense to quickly cover her mouth before the Eep gets out. Okay. <laughs> but only barely. So I will take my shot to this one. Does um, Crystal have a clear shot from there? The other one? Uh, you're aiming at this one, you said? This one, yes. Okay, uh... She can move a bit 
further out, and then she does, yes. All right. So, make these attacks. You are hidden, so they are with advantage. Okay. Crystal should hit it like yep. a freaking bolt of lightning. Bolt yep. hit? Of course. <laughs> no. So that's nine piercing damage to the cobalt with the crossbow bolt. Seven points of force damage with the Eldritch Blast. Both targets are dead. Nice work, guys. And you hear some uh, shouting in Draconica. We've got, like, we've got enemies! Oh, no. <laughs> um, the rest of you should shout enemies to the east. Uh, in Draconic. She should, but right now, I need you all to roll initiative. Okay. Alright. Oh, boy. Just let me pull this thing up real quick. Oh, it's up. This up. like my thingy again, sorry. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, my it's turn. okay. I had, to, I had to clear the list first. Okay, now we can go. Oh, All right. Okay. I rolled a ten, but oh, clear the list. Do it again. Um, you can change me to ten if you want. That was my first roll. All right. But I got a fifteen on a second. I got yeah. twelve. All on right. The first one. So I went and rolled, but it. It didn't add me to the list appropriately. <laughs> yeah, these ones are down. And now, as I begin my music. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I was too happy. The list. Uh, mine uh, was actually wiped when I tried to add it. Yep, all right. And give me a second here. I'll add you to the turn order. Thank you. And then I need and to do it. And at the bottom of the order so far. <laughs> yep. But I need to roll for a lot of things now. Oh, sorry. Uh, woo! Should be fun. For the purposes of, for the purposes of this, I suppose I should reveal that, shouldn't I? That would be great. I'm kind of worried. Uh, he told you we should have gone to the left. God. I'm sure there'll probably be just as many on the left side as there was on this side. There's a door here, though, so we can get into the keep. Well, we're actually pretty well set up, so as soon as they come around, we can just blast them one at a time. Oops. Wrong button. Back in the darkness square. We should probably do a kiting attack as well. Let's not strategize too much beforehand. Right. <laughs> so, Tobias, you're bait, right? Yeah, pretty much. I'm happy to be the bait. <laughs> Should have really got that potion off you beforehand. Whoops. <laughs> I have a feeling she might need it this time. Uh oh. Yeah, uh oh. I should be using my dagger more than my sword. I don't know. I seem to get better attacks with my dagger than my sword oh, for no. some reason. <laughs> no, it's because last time your testicles were on the line. Uh, yeah, that's probably it. It's like, it's like, the one thing that matters! <laughs> I honestly just went the dagger because I thought trying to attack some um, freaking rats on me with a long sword's a bit ridiculous. <laughs> We wanted to shave. We didn't want to have a full cut. Yep. Alright. That's a lot of rolls. Add these guys to the turn order. <laughs> and now I'm rolling their initiative. So oh, many numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I'm just scared now. <laughs> you should be. Well, your, your first crystal. I'm sure you can take out a couple with one shot. 
the way you work with that crossbow. Jeez. Well, I mean, she already did take out one yeah. with one shot. You just proved that. She's freaking deadly with it, that's for sure. Everyone's deadly with a weapon if they know how to use it, right? Mm. Except for Tiny. Well, because he probably doesn't know how to use it right. <laughs> the only weapon he... The only sword he knows how to use is the one attached to him, and he's not about to swing it at a scaly creature after last time. No, don't... Oh, well, yeah, fair. <laughs> not just yet. Give him a, give him a couple of drinks, he might... Really Holy crap, one of them rolled a 20, nice. Two of them rolled a 20. That's not even their max. Jeez. This isn't even my final form. <laughs> Don't tempt me. <laughs> <laughs> they might just go Super Saiyan on you. You don't know. <laughs> well, my guy looks like a little Naomi Saiyan. <laughs> now I was kind of tempted to make my guy try and go Super Saiyan for some reason. Okay, no, that, so that'll be bad. At the top of the round. We got some kobolds. This one is going to rush out, and the next rushes out as well. The third is over to here, and yeah, Tobias is in range. Uh -oh. He'll, he's going to attempt to throw a rock at you. Bum and weave, Tobias. You can do a tiny. Uh, misses, though. Clinks off the side <laughs> of the building. Um, what's the range on a javelin? Sorry, I didn't direct. Uh, should be 20 feet at short range, 60 at long range. Okay. Long range, you'd be rolling with disadvantage, but you could still hit. Yeah. So, Crystal, uh, do I even need to ask crossbow? Yep. Figured. <laughs> Love it, just, yep. <laughs> Love it up. That's a hit. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and kill. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're like a freaking god with that thing. <laughs> Bonus action reload. Nana, you're up. Alright, um, I might move a bit closer. Uh, Alright. And, um, if I move close enough, will I be able to hit this guy with my frostbite? Uh, if you can get within 60 feet of him, yes. Um. There should be a ruler tool on your, uh, on the bar on the left. Ah. <gasps> oh, yeah. Ooh. Uh, but if you move more than 30 feet, you won't be able to, because then you'll have had to dash for your action instead. So wait, what else? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right behind Tobias. So. Okay, I can. So thirty feet would be the square behind me. Yes, and from there you could just get him. Yeah. Just. All right, go for it then. All right. To make a Constitution saving throw. She naturally won, so he will take some damage for this. He did not like that. He has disadvantage on his next attack, but he is still standing. Okay. Then bring us to this gentleman here. It's Cobalt Pavalooza here! <laughs> it really is. This one runs up to here, and immediately regrets to <laughs> This one steps over the body of one of his friends. <laughs> and moves down. More. This one also moves down a bit. And this cultist here And then this last cobalt here goes out here 
and sees why his friend regrets his decisions. Okay. And then Radina. Okay. Edris Eldridge Blast on this one here. Alright, roll it. 23. That'll hit. Nice. There we go. That's a kill. Woo -woo. Nice work, mate. Alright. Uh, any movement? No, I'm at a fairly good spot, so. Okay, Tobias. Um, I'm going to throw a javelin this dude. Okay. Um, but, Roll with but, disadvantage because this is long range. Yep, that dude. And javelin. Turn up the hit me in the crisis. <laughs> Why not to? You've jinxed yourself now. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Still a hit. Roll damage. Jesus. Yeah, that was a disadvantage. Oh. Four points of piercing damage. Unfortunately, does not kill him, but he is very shaken by that. Um, Alright, so I'm going to use a move up. My next one, um, I basically shout the other three to do a chitin attack to slowly start moving back while firing while I cover them. So you say do a kiting attack? Yep. Or well, fall back while attacking. Um, and I'll cover you. Fall back, I'll cover you. Alright. And do I move still or not? Uh, you can move. Up I'll just gonna move there. Okay. There's one more. Alright. Kind of get between Ooh. Crystal and Rathena. Alright. Uh, and it's this is Cobalt's turn. And then it's Sculptor's turn. Yay. Pardon me if I'm slow. I have a lot Doesn't. to deal with right now. <laughs> Doing pretty well though. Four damage, two um, sorry, four dead, two damage. This is where yeah. shit starts to get real. Yeah. Yep. He's gonna move down here, and he's going to attempt to throw a rock at the druid. That used frostbite on him. Yep. Uh, with disadvantage though, because of uh, because of the frostbite, uh, which makes it miss. Woo. The oh, disadvantage. Awesome. The disadvantage is gone now. And then this one, I'm going to move down to here and attempt much the same. So it was disadvantage though because it's long ranged. And uh, with an 8, it isn't going to hit. Uh, that one is dead. So, Crystal, another crossbow, I take it. Yep. <laughs> Love it, just yep. That's a miss, unfortunately. Ah. Uh, God falls from grace. Alright, Nana. I'm gonna use Frostbite again, I just don't wanna to get too close with that many there. <laughs> okay. Which um, one? Um let's go this one here. I'm pretty sure that's within and let me just check. Yep. Yep. Within 50 feet. Alright. Constitution save and throw. Uh he is able to shrug it off with a natural twenty. Ah. Nice. Jeez. You can still move as well, the rest of that, I forget. Um, um, I think I might just stay here for the moment. Yep. Alright. Next cultist moves up. Okay. Just give me a moment here.
Okay, and then that kobold is dead now. Uh, that one's not, though. And he is actually going to charge up into melee. Oh, okay. And this one is going to move up about 30 feet and attempt to throw a rock at the druid. Mm -hmm. No longer with this advantage, though, because he's within 20 feet. Yep. Uh, 23 will hit. Ow. For three points of bludgeoning damage. Ouch. Okay. Is that it? Alright. Yep. And then the next cultist moves down a bit. And then another cobalt. We'll move in. Uh, not quite within melee range, because there are ten foot squares here, so he's going to, uh... Yeah, he's going to try and throw a rock as well. Maybe I should have moved. <laughs> Uh, misses, misses with a 9, though. Okay. Rubina, you again. Okay. First, I'm gonna actually move down to here. Okay. And then I will, uh, attack this cultist with, uh, Eldritch Blast. Attempt okay. Stopper. Roll it. Holy fuck! <laughs> Roll damage. Woo! Holy crap! <laughs> Chafers. Okay, so... For those who have seen Scanners, basically that. Yeah. Wow, okay. So there's now just the a crater. Head <laughs> Oh, Damn. And that's it for me this turn. Alright. Okay. So just to clarify from before, sorry. If I move here, can I melee attack that one or not? Uh, you'd expend an extra 5 feet of movement to get into his melee range, but yes. Alright, okay. I'll do that then. Okay. And I'll attack with a longsword. Alright, one handed? Yep. Alright. Roll it. Nine. Misses, unfortunately. Yep. And I, again, yell at Nana to pay attention and to move behind me. <laughs> Alright. Uh, this kobold is going to charge up into range. This cultist is going to run down here. And then... Although you've now got three attacks of opportunity against you. Bloody oath. That's gonna hurt. Hmm. And then... This squad is going to move... Down to where Kanye is. One is... This one is going to move down to here and attempt to throw a rock at the spellcaster that just presented itself in the open. Uh, does a 13 hit you? 13 is my armor class, actually. Alright, so that is a hit. Just. <laughs> yep, but only just, but it's enough. It's uh, three points of bludgeoning damage. Ow. That was a good throw of a disadvantage. Cheers. Yeah. I'm down to six. Thirteen and nineteen. Crystal, things are getting closer. Um, crossbow again? <laughs> okay. Just give me a second while I do my magical genius. She's doubting her powers now that she's missed the um, last shot. We believe in you, Crystal. Save us. Oh, oh there we go. For fuck's sake. <laughs> she, does, uh, she does hit it. Let's see if it's enough to kill, though. Uh, 
four points of damage. It is almost, but not quite enough. Okay. No. All right. Do you move any? Um. I guess to the right. You're moving closer to them. No, wait, maybe up. <laughs> to the wall. <laughs> to the All right, to the not. Wall. All right. All right. Um, um, I think I will take a swing with my quarter staff at the one to my right, which I'm trying to click on, but I can't. Ah! You're at the major until that. That's why. Okay. <laughs> Roll it. All right. Uh, quarter staff. Uh, two handed. <laughs> Okay. That'll hit. One plus your wisdom modifier of four, so five is just enough to kill it. <laughs> now, is there any disadvantage from standing on the same spot as a dead body? Um, one. I say you're probably like positioning yourself so you can stand over it. Yeah. So no. Alright, cool. Alright. That will then bring us to the next kobold in the order, which is going to move over here. And is actually going to throw a rock at Tobias. Mm. Okay. Come at me, bro. Uh, 22. That'll hit you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> For six points of bludgeoning damage, he rolled max. Jesus. What? A very well-aimed rock beams you on the side of the temple. Crap, I'm down to four hills. <laughs> Alright. Next would be the sculptist here. Who brings out his scimitars and charges in. And then another kobold is going to attempt to uh, pull out a dagger and... Dab Nana. Okay. Uh, in contrary to the last guy, he misses terribly. <laughs> Redina. You. Okay. I'm going to use Eldritch Blast on this one. All right, roll it. That'll miss. I'm not no kidding. And I'll move back to here. Okay. Device. Uh, now I'm gonna use uh, one-handed uh, on that guy. All right, roll it. That'll hit. Ooh. Holy crap! Yeah. Jeez, yeah. against one of the others. Yeah, that'll that'll do it. He's done. Yeah. He only had one hit point left anyway. Yeah, that's why I thought even if I do a little bit of damage, hopefully get rid of him. Alright. Okay. And uh, then a kobold is going to... He's going to... He's going to attempt to stab Nana. Yep. She's in a better state. Uh, 14. Does that hit you? No, armor class is 15. Okay, you did say you were swinging two-handed though, right? Oh, before? Oh. Yes, I was swinging two-handed. Alright, so that means you would have dropped your shield, which means that you would have a minus two to your armor class, bringing it to 13. Okay. okay. Alright. I may not have said that earlier, you may have forgotten that, so this time I'll let it slide, but keep that in mind in the future. Okie dokie. Alright, so, next cultist. Get up into melee range. And top of the round, the DM does GM things. <laughs> now, next kobold is this guy, who is going to move here 
and attempt to throw a rock at Ravina. Of course. Eh, there's like six of those guys over there. They'll get him. Uh, 19 <laughs> will hit for three points of bludgeoning damage. Damn right. Uh, that, guy, yeah, yeah, that guy is dead now, so he's not on this order anymore. Crystal. Oh, Lord yes. of the crossbow. Save us. <laughs> right. Have her move up a space so that she has a clear shot. Fifteen, that'll hit. Woo. Damage, 30,000. Three points, three points of piercing damage. Not enough to kill. Uh, then she'll move back, because things are getting way too close. Yep. Nana! Um, things ain't looking so good here. No. <laughs> I take I can't like, kind of step there without them trying to attack me. You could disengage. That would take your action, though. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, if you disengage, attacks of opportunity cannot be made against you, as you cautiously back away. Alright, I think I will do that. I think that's a good idea for me right now. So, Alright, disengaging. Disengaging, I'll go here. Alright. Be your turn then? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so that'll bring us to this kobold. Uh he doesn't like you moving out of his melee range, so he's gonna throw a rock at you. Of course. <laughs> Misses. And this cultist is going to attempt to attack Toby with a scimitar. Bring it, buddy. Uh, rolls an 18. <laughs> Ow. Ooh. Which, I believe, meets your armor class? Yeah, my well, mate. Yep, that is uh, 7 points of slashing damage. Oh, you're out. And I'm down, yep. Alright, down you are. Minus three. No, you go to zero. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then uh, the kobold here is going to move down and also attempt to throw a rocket. Nana? Yeah. Beams his buddy in the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> Nice going, Reggie. <laughs> oh, you knocked him out too. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Radina. <laughs> I'm gonna actually use Eldritch Blast on this one. All right, roll it. Thanks, Klein. There we go. That'll hit. <laughs> and damage. There we go. That'll kill. Woo. Tobias. I need a death saving throw from you. Cool. Um, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> so saving throws, uh, a death one. What was that? Oh, there it is. Found it. <laughs> well, is it success or failure? Uh oh. <laughs> My throw killed the hit DM. <laughs> Quick, let's let's scam run out of here. Drag my dead body. <laughs> I don't think he's realized. You should be back in a second. Yep. <laughs> He's He's on the I'm just gonna move my character <laughs> just so he knows <laughs> what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, let's let's spell out SOS. Um S Sorry. <laughs> 
Hold on, I got it. Really hard to do that. <laughs> nope, 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 dead. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Fuck you, Discord! Hey! He's back! He's back! Get back in your, get back in your box. I'm back, I'm back. I was, I was, was trying, trying to... to... <laughs> Thank you for the signal. I was trying to walk out SOS. <laughs> Alright, well, that was... cultist moved over, he attacked you, he hit you with an 18, dealt 3 points of slashing damage, Nana. Ah, right, yep, 3. Yep. 1, 2, 3... And okay. 12, is that a save throw or a failure? Uh, that is 1 success. So right. check out Ooh. 1 success box. Done. Alright, now I do magical GM things. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Save me, Crystal, please. She can, potentially. Although you can also oh, save yeah. yourself if you roll a natural 20 on a death save. Oh, I'll just have to do that then. <laughs> now come up from behind and take him from behind. Uh, Nana, it's your turn. Um, um, I, I hit this cultist with my quarter star. Um, Go for it. I'll go one-handed. Alright, pulling out the shield. Yeah, I think that'd probably be a good idea since I'm low on health right now. Okay, go for it. Kill me! That'll hit! Holy crap! You keep saying holy crap like this is new! <laughs> Although well, it's yeah, damage. true. I should expect yeah. it. These guys roll yeah. crits on every single time. Yeah, two damage, you snap his neck. Oh! <laughs> 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 All right. Okay. Uh, this kobold is also dead. You guys keep killing all my things <laughs> I trying to use to kill you. <laughs> Stop that! You're ruining my fun. Aww. <laughs> I'm sure you have more yeah, healing away to attack us at some point. Well, we, we hat, haven't hat. paid what, attention to that patrol. That <laughs> Whatever gets that idea. Oh god. It is at this point that you hear a loud crash from the front of the temple. Ah. We're not sure what it is, but it echoed from the front all the way back to here, so something happened there. Oh god. So about that rope on the gate, on the wall, we should, um... Look at trying to uh, get back over, I think. <laughs> Screw right. this place. Uh, uh, does a natural 20 hit you, Nana? Uh, uh yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright. Rolled shit for damage. Four points. Four points? Ow. I'm down to one <laughs> point. Help Holy help. crap, you have a lot of health. Uh, not anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, this kobold. Another rock. Uh, uh, we'll go with the druid. I still got my shield. The shield will save you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Only roll the 14. Oh. Alright. Ravina, roll a perception check with disadvantage. Perception at disadvantage? Okay. Yes. Okay. Save us, Rathina. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> oh god. You, you are too focused on the enemies in front of you. As, out of the darkness, two large serpentine creatures that are covered in scales come out of seemingly nowhere. Oh no. And ambush you. Lovely. <laughs> What is your armor class? He's super effective. <laughs> okay. Then that will deal... Uh, that will deal... 
eight points with the first strike, but the second one misses. Okay, Holy I'm dead. Crap. Oh no. This is not good. Nope. Because they then snarl with the rest of you. <laughs> Crystal, what's after us? <laughs> All right, we gotta do okay. some saving throws. Yep. And as I go That's down, safe. as I go down, I start gurgling. <laughs> nom 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 nom. Ah! Ah! goes full Murloc. <laughs> <laughs> Death save if you would. Uh, hmm? Death save. Okay. Fourteen, mark oh. one success. Tobias, death save. <laughs> mark two failures. Oh. <gasps> God damn. <laughs> How many I'm just failures? Two. Oh. He's on two failures, one success right now. Oh, good. I'll just roll a perfect 20 for my next one. <laughs> or another one and die. Yeah, that too. Right. This kobold throws another rock at Nana. Because oh. after seeing so many people die to that stick, he knows to stay the fuck away. <laughs> <laughs> Misses, though. He's shaking. Thank God. That cultist used to be alive. He's not now. <laughs> Oh, thy lord of the crossbow. <laughs> Crystal! <laughs> what are you yes! Doing? Um... I, I don't think you can get to Toby from here. Uh... You, you could, but you would have to risk an opportunity attack. I would say... In this instance, you could use Spare the Dying on him at the cost of a point of exhaustion. Mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Alright. Let's see if he can survive the oppie. Rolls a 12. Your armor class is 14. You're fine. <laughs> Tobias? Get rid of the failures and, and uh, successes. You are stable, but you are still unconscious. Okay. So it's still zero hit points? Yep, still zero. Uh -huh. Nana! Um, I'm going to whack this cultist with my quarterstaff, one-handed. Go, Go for it. it. Ugh. Eleven. Just misses him. Ah! ah. Okay. Okay. Alright. Amber Drake. There's enough movement to get right behind you. Can't attack you this turn, though. Okay. Uh, this cultist is going to try to attack you, though. Yep. Misses! <sighs> Can't roll! <laughs> is that the one that just attacked? No. That's I can't see the second act. No, I attacked. Oh, right, right, sorry, that's what it was, sorry. Uh, Kobold attempts to stab Crystal, because she's closer now. Misses! Oh. Ambush trick number two. Boxes uh, Nana in. No! Redeemer. Death save. <laughs> Ten, mark a success. Thank you, Crystal, by the way. I appreciate it. <laughs> Tobias! <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Cobalt! You are unconscious and therefore have no turn. Oh, okay. I'll just use you <laughs> for a while. Roll me a d4. Oh, uh, me? Yes, what? you. Okay. You will wake up in two hours. Okay. I will stay safe for a while. The kobold is going to throw a rocket crystal. 
No, he's not. And now I. <laughs> and now I get the rocks. <laughs> Crystal. Yes. Things are looking bleak. You have my permission to set everything on fire now. Go for it. I have permission. You have permission. <laughs> Good. Now that, she has a now that she has a permission, all she needs is the ability to actually do it. <laughs> which, unfor which unfortunately she does not have because she has no spell slots. No. Rip the dream. <laughs> Okay, where's the knife? <laughs> <laughs> well, I did give you a dagger, actually. Okay, I'll give it to the truck! <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this what's happening? <laughs> no! <laughs> I just crossbow again. Okay. It'd be a disadvantage because someone's within uh, five feet of you. Unless you wanted to switch to your mace or a sacred flame. Sacred flame! <laughs> okay. That's what you I will point out that you also have the ability as a reaction to impose disadvantage on enemy attacks. Yes, please. You forgot about your warding flares again, didn't you? Yes. I know. Alright, you know so, 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 Yes, I do. As unfortunate as that may be. Oh, one point of damage. Well, let's, this'll be interesting. Uh, ooh, he has one health. Let's see if he makes it. Let's see if he makes it. Oh, so close. You do kill him with that. Yeah. Well done. Yay! Just to our MVP. <laughs> You are surrounded, my dear. I am. I, am. <laughs> I wish I had a spell <laughs> slot because I could use that like, thunder wave or something. Will be good right now. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. <laughs> <laughs> um, um. He said so arrogantly. <laughs> right, the cultist next to me. That one has been damaged, doesn't it? As he's hurt, I take it. Uh, no, he is full health. Oh, Everything that is around you right now is at full health. Uh. And I can't get out of this, can I? You can disengage and move 30 feet back if you'd like. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. So 30 feet will be... Yeah, there. Okay. Okay. Now I do things. Okay. okay. <laughs> Uh-oh. I would have hidden behind uh, Crystal for cover over here with her flares of magical awesomeness. Actually, I didn't think to go that direction. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so and now the shield. <laughs> okay, Crystal, right. our lowest AC has got the figure tanking. Ambush Drake <laughs> comes after you and is going to attempt to attack you, though no longer with stealth on his side. Yeah. Walls of nine. Cultist is uh, running after you. Oh, Can't sucks. attack though. Took, took his full movement to get there. Uh, this kobold is dead. This ambush drake goes after Crystal. And let's see. He attacks and rolls a natural one. <laughs> And ends up biting the corpse of the cobalt next to her. <laughs> Redina. Death save. You get up oh! with one hit point. What the hell? <laughs> you, are yes. your, you have one hit point. You may take your turn. Yeah. <laughs> you are still prone on the ground. It will take half your movement to stand up. But you have your action, bonus action, and 15 feet of movement. Make it count, girl. <laughs> I will use Eldritch Blast from the prone position to hit this one. Uh, from prone. <laughs> Roll attack with disadvantage. Thirteen. 
just hits it. Roll damage. Woo. <laughs> Excellent timing on the music. <laughs> Eight points of damage. Yeah, cracks. You see, you see some of the scales splinter off as blood starts seeping from its shoulder. It did not like that at all. <laughs> as the bloodlust is starting to get to you and make you just angrily just focus in on this thing. <laughs> And the cackling starts. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> Alright, that kobold is a bit spooked by what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> he wants you to stay on the ground. He's gonna throw a rock at you. He's scared. You're prone. He misses. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal. Yes. There's a there's a there's a big Nicky thing behind you, and he <laughs> doesn't like you. And on the other side, there's a giant snake. <laughs> you feel your holy, you feel your holy symbol trembling. <laughs> <laughs> Can I he say to claim again? <laughs> you most certainly can. <laughs> All right, let's see how he does on his deck save. Passes, unfortunately. Nah. Yeah, he's yeah. He just chucks the body of the kobold he just chomped out of the way, and the kobold body gets incinerated, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> so he, I'm out for two hours. That would count as a long rest, wouldn't it? Right. Uh, that is not a long rest. A long rest is eight hours. Ah. Plus, it's not restful rest that you're having. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Do you do anything else? Yes, sir. Crystal? Do you do anything else? Um. (laughs) The 12 year old is past the bedtime. Bad to go home. What else? <laughs> this twelve-year-old saved your life. Shut the fuck up, yeah, man. I, I just should be nice, actually. <laughs> I shall stab um, you right now. <laughs> I still have my mace, now. <laughs> um, no, I won't do anything else. <laughs> okay. That will bring us to Nana. Um, I'm going to hit the whatever that thing you probably use with my quarter staff one handed. All right, ambush strike, hit him. Oh, I didn't mean hit him. <laughs> <laughs> no, the TPK. Come on. Oh my oh, god. Nine points of damage. Uh, he's one of the few things that survived it. <laughs> oh no. Alright. Not quite. Uh, no, did not, you did not kill him. Okay. I did do that one handed too, I forgot to say that. So I still got my shield. No, you did say that. You did say I that. Oh, dude! Oh, dude! Sweet. Yep. I'm in the ring. <sighs> Alright. He's that going to attack. Lot of health. He's going to attempt to attack back. Of course. I only got one health. Rolls a 12. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Cultus next to him gets to attack, though. Yeah. Five and a nine. Mother- <laughs> <laughs> I'm so lucky. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Amber Strike. What are these rolls? <laughs> Bites the other kobold next to you. <laughs> Ravina! From the prone position, I go and use Eldred's Blast again. Roll an attack with disadvantage. <laughs> On this one. Fourteen will still hit. <laughs> so lucky, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No. Yep. Yeah, you snap. Yeah, you snap off the front part of its muzzle. 
<laughs> All right, Kobold, starting to get a bit spooked, chucking a rock at Rathena. <laughs> Misses again. <laughs> I don't know we should have got you in Kobold. Uses his movement to start running. Oh, goodness. Right. So, Crystal, uh, about carrying me around everywhere. When this battle is over, um, please don't just leave me here in the middle of all these dead bodies. <laughs> all right. I, I won't. Thank you. Um, say, Flame. Okay. Let's see if you can uh, pass the saving throw. Two natural ones. Let's see how much damage you do to this guy. <laughs> Six points of radiant damage. Okay. Nice. Mm. Yeah, he... Yeah, the radiant fire burns him and he smells back. Growls <laughs> 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 at you angrily. He did not like that at all. <laughs> Anything else? Um, I guess I'll pray. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, make a religion check. <laughs> Six. All right. I'll say with advantage because prayer is all you have at this point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you are right next to a temple. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He runs out. Well, luckily enough, the DC wasn't high. <laughs> Helm has heard your prayer. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> okay, you feel your holy symbol trembling, Nana. Um. I'm going to whack the cultist in front of me with my quarter stuff, one-handed. Go for it. Ugh. That's a miss. Oh. <laughs> I guess i got to miss at some point. Uh, that's a dead ambush drake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a 22 for three points of slashing damage. Oh, I'm out. You are down. I am down. Oh, last one, I have one point. Welcome to the club, Nana. <laughs> yep, Ambush Drake. Who's to attack you, Crystal? <laughs> and you feel the trembling in your holy symbol. Out of seemingly nowhere, you hear a faint metallic clanging and screaming coming from <laughs> off to the side this way. <laughs> And you fear that the worst is about to happen. As you guys just oh! remembered, a patrol comes is oh coming gosh. from that side. Yep. And you hear a winding a windy sound. And as you turn to see what it is, tears welling up in your eyes. Uh oh. You see you see a glint of light that pierces into the side of this drake. And before you can even blink, it disappears in a flash of faint light. <laughs> he loses 10 hit points, and then from out of nowhere, clad in bright, shining silver armor. Hmm. With long, flowing locks of red hair, one silver eye peeking out from beneath it. Sword in one hand, a scythe in the other. You see <laughs> the face of someone familiar. Someone you've never been happier to see in your life. Someone who attended your monastery before. <laughs> who, look, who looks at you and who looks at you and says to you Get up. Your time is not yet here. And that's where we'll end this session. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you good there, Crystal? You losing yourself? 
God, I can't believe what you had three hours. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know we could summon gods. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, that's no god. Oh, okay. That's the Close enough. Out. He, he's my god, basically. I'm here taking a nap, so he's my god. <laughs> Pretty sure you're, I'm pretty sure your god was a redhead, and while he's a redhead, I'm pretty sure your god is female and doesn't wield a scythe in battle. Well, <laughs> I don't not choosy at this stage. I'm unconscious well, and near death, so I'm not I'm not choosy at all. Yeah, you don't even know he's here. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god, showed up and I'm unconscious, mother. <laughs> well, that is how you can see it's crystal and Rathena at the moment because I'm out as well. <laughs> I don't think Rathena can even see it. She can just see things as, like, blood. <laughs> <laughs> I'm basically on a frenzy. <laughs> there will be snacks. <laughs> well, that was good fun. I enjoyed that. <laughs> that was good. That was it. Yeah, I had to end that one on a cliffhanger. <laughs> mm. uh, it was not it was going well. well. Still I would still be alive if I'd known someone had started barking away, and so we could do... I don't know, I didn't have to stand there and get hit a billion times. Mm. They were actually were attacking me. Yeah, they were actually dodging a lot of them. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and the award for the best tank goes to Nana. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, look, I, don't know, Tobias, I don't know, Tobias made it pretty far. I'm just switching through screens to get back to the idol. Ah. Okay. <laughs> and... There we go. Okay. Thank you for saving me, Crystal. <laughs> You're welcome. Run right through the little battle. Uh, Her prayer has been answered. Listen, <laughs> will this go and save uh, where we were with the uh, turns and such? Uh, yes, it will. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Well, thanks everyone for joining us. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we probably yeah. won't be doing a stream next weekend because of Easter, so it'll be um, next one will be in two weeks' time. Yeah. Yeah. And then we will continue as normal. We'll probably still, we'll do them around um, this time every week, so Sunday, 3 p.m. AUDT. Oh, oh. it'll be daylight savings. We'll figure that out. <laughs> well, I Damn hope it. that the chat went and enjoyed this a uh, little more exciting round. Yeah, who knows what this newcomer can do? <laughs> DM, that dude. <laughs> oh, I know too! <laughs> <laughs> I've, yet to, I've never heard Crystal so excited. <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll find out why. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad Crystal was really excited and <laughs> happy. <laughs> well, I'm just dying all around. I was, able... I was glad that I could actually get back up. Yes, that was good. Yeah, that was impressive. Yeah, when you nat twenty a death save, it it's it rocks. I've seen someone who I've seen someone go down surrounded by three things, and then fail two death saving throws because one of them attacked them again, and then get and then nat twenty get back up and kill all three of them in a single hit. <laughs> nice. She was a whirlwind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of fun, guys. Thank you so much. It was. Oh, we enjoyed it. Thank you for uh, hosting again, uh, Crimson. It's what I do. And thank you, everyone, for watching as well. And hope you all enjoyed it. And, uh, yes, um, this full clip will be on YouTube during the week, hopefully. And then we'll continue with the stream again in two weeks' time. All right. All right we'll see you all next time. Yes, we'll see you all in the next okay. stream. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.